Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Uh, back with another video. Hey, today we're taking a look at some earbuds. These are some budget earbuds. Uh, just trying to find out, man, uh, are they worth you five, six, seven dollars? Let's take a look. Okay, YouTube. So, uh, we're taking a look today at the i12s. These are by uh, True Wireless. Uh, these are the A6S, they're by True Wireless as well. And these are called the Billboard, these are by True Wireless. Now I got these two from Ally Express and got this from I believe like a Dollar General. But everything that you see here is uh, $15 or less. I think the most expensive was these, uh, $15. They all work independently to where you could just use either the left or the right or you can use both. Uh, they both are, all three are easy to set up. Uh, you know, it's as easy as going to your uh, Bluetooth settings, uh, searching for the device name, uh, and then once doing so, you're able to uh, just connect. Uh, it's simple stuff. Uh, but the one unique thing about this set here, which is the cheapest set, I believe these came in at roughly five to seven dollars. Uh, these are the i12s and they have that chip in it, but it connects to, uh, uh, iPhones uh, in a certain way uh, with the iOS, uh, allowing you to just open up the case, take out one of the earbuds, sit it next to your phone, and it'll show that it you connected the uh, the case or show you the battery life of the case. But I think it's like a stock. I don't think it's really because every time I connect it, it's always saying sixty percent. So I don't know if it's legit or not, even though I charged it to 100%. But anyway, let's be honest here, guys. This is supposed to be the clone of the AirPods. If you take a good look at this, uh, it's not too bad. You'll see that it is kind of made in a similar fashion. I did find that this uh, is a little bigger. The case is a little bigger. The actual stem of the device is a little thicker as well. Also, it has this light that blinks. Um, that's not on the real one. It does have touch. Uh, you can control your device, uh, stop, play, pa pause, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, you can definitely do that on there. This is the best uh, budget. The only downfall to these is that they suck, man. You can't hear anything out of this. You have to turn them a certain way in your ear in order to hear anything. Now, I don't know if it's just my set or if it's all sets. If you have a pair of these, please comment below. And if you got them from somewhere else besides AliExpress, let me know too. Uh, that would be helpful to see if I can get these better uh, sounding in a, uh, from somewhere else. That would be great. But moving on, the A6S, these are my favorite. Uh, and they're my favorite because they fit all the way in the ear. They really do. They fit all the way in the ear. It's nice, it's firm, it's quiet. Uh, it blocks a lot of noise for me. They're not noise canceling, but it does do a little isolation of noise. Uh, and they work independently as well. Uh, I ordered it with this little silicone sleeve just to be fancy about it, but you don't have to. I think it was like extra 50 cent or a dollar, whatever. But these came in at roughly about uh, seven to 12 bucks. Uh, and you can find these on AliExpress too. Uh, my downfall for these things are, is that, uh, or my drawbacks or what these suck or why I don't like these. Yeah, that sounds better. Why I don't like these, okay. I do like them, but there's something that I hate about them. And uh, that's where, I don't know if it's just my set or if it's everybody's. I want you to leave a comment below if you own a pair of these and it does the same to you. And also let me know where you got them from. Um, so these headsets here, uh, they connect independently. However, the right one keeps going out and the white light would just flash in the background here. It'll just flash. Like you'll be listening to both of them uh, and they're working good, sounding amazing. Uh, and then this, it'll just hiccup for a second and then the left will come back on, but the right won't play anymore. And it won't come back or connect or pair with anything until it actually dies, like the juice uh, you know, the battery dies in it, the white light stops blinking, like you see the white light blinking now. But once that stops blinking, then uh, you're able to actually, you're able to actually use them again and link them. It's lasting maybe uh, an hour roughly. Um, not the battery life, but how long it'll stay connected. Uh, battery life seems to be a little longer. If I just use the one, I've used it maybe three hours at the max. But 
Yeah, these are my favorite. Only if they work, they would be awesome. A success. All right, and so the next is billboards. I think I found these around town at like a Dollar General or something. Uh, I thought it was a novelty item. I didn't think that they actually worked. But the truth is, out of all three of these, uh, this is the biggest charging case, has the best battery for charging. Um, but it, everything is just big. It's like a play school version of everything. Like, look how big that is. Uh, this is one of those things that you don't want her to say, look how big that is. But, I mean, you know, if you're trying to impress people, I guess maybe. Um, but you have your little button here on the bottom that you press. Uh, once you put the two stems inside, you press the button at the bottom, it charges. Uh, the case charges, I believe, three to four times or what have you, which is a, a decent amount of charge. Again, uh, these were anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 bucks, I believe, uh, was the total on this. This was the most expensive. Uh, but it has a microphone built in, it has the charging case, just like all the others. Um, it has a bigger battery than the others. Uh, also, the sound sounds better than these. Uh, because you can't really hear these, but these sound better as far as sound goes. This also used the lightning cable. And this one on the back is going to use uh, USB, uh, original USB. And uh, so here, you're gonna also use USB on the back of this one as well. So nothing really unique, fancy about the packaging. You just get some information here, the colors that you can get it in. Uh, tells you what's in the box there. Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, also inside is just a really, really short charging cable, maybe a, a foot or so. And then also you'll get a, a instruction manual and then that instruction manual just give you basic, basic instructions. And um, yeah, nothing really fancy here, guys. Uh, it, if we're talking sound quality, let's, let, let's talk sound quality. All right, guys, so what we have here is uh, these two are gonna be as similar as far as uh, cases, charging, how it fits in your ear, uh, that kind of thing, and battery life. These are seem to be just like a totally separate idea altogether. Um, these have the little stems charging case, fits in the side of your ear. Um, they only fit in one left and right, so you won't get it confused there. Uh, these also have uh, touch sensors on the side. So you'll be able to play, pause, uh, turn up your music. You can hold this down to be able to uh, get Siri. Uh, so that all works. It's, it's a neat little, listen, and these are, uh, these are inexpensive. Uh, it's just that the sound quality is terrible. You have to rotate it in your ear in order to get that speaker grill just right so it's firing down in your ear canal so you can hear it. Any other time your ear is overlapping and cutting out the sound, that's what you get from these. Now let me know if that's just my pair, uh, if that's just my ears. Uh, you let me know in the comments below what you get when you test these out or when you play these. I want to know. Let me know. Um, so these, um, you've seen these, uh, you, these is just some big, big versions of the uh, AirPods and uh, they don't have any of the cool features. Uh, they're just plain Jane, uh, an AirPod knockoff. So they have a button on the back here, a hole for the microphone there, if you guys can see it. And uh, it has a little charging case there at the back or at the bottom of Chrome single hole on it yeah let me show you guys the uh, difference in size here so this is the i12 and this is the billboards and as you see here guys um see look at that comparison there all right let's see if we can move on here
the i12, you also have a, it has the magnet inside the case. When I say that this is the closest replica to the actual Apple, Apple AirPods, uh, this is what this is. Uh, if they just nailed the sound on this thing, this would be the perfect little uh, knockoff or replica, I should say. I need to give it more respect than a knockoff, but this is, this is a knockoff. Look how big this thing is. This is a knockoff. This is a replica. <laughs> this is a knockoff. This is a replica. It even has the chrome hinge, people. It has the little satisfying snap. Check this out. I can do that for hours, guys. I just don't understand. It's like pressing your pen down. Chrome hinge it has your button on the back here to charge up the AirPods inside. So you just press it down. And you guys see that little blue light that comes on there? Yeah. So that's when it's charging. When you plug it in, it has a red light down there to let you know it's charging. Um, no light inside here to let you know that these are charging other than the actual lights from the AirPods themselves, if you guys can see that. So I'm telling you guys that this is the closest that I've seen so far uh, to actual AirPods. Um, this is just ridiculous. But uh, like I said, these sound uh, great. <laughs> they actually uh, are decent uh, earbuds. Uh, they don't have none of the cool features. They look uh, stupid, cartoonish almost, uh, but they work and they do the trick. These base is really, really, these are the uh, A6S. The base in these things here, guys, oh man. The bass in these things are so loud and so strong. They really are powerful. Uh, I thought it was going to overpower the, the mids and the highs, uh, but the mids and the highs actually sound really good within these. Only thing, again, these ha have that cutting out issue. If they didn't have the cutting out issue, these would be the best headphones uh, or earbuds that I've ever owned here. Uh, and these are the A6S. Uh, Let me know in the comments if you have that issue too. Uh, some cool stuff here is that you'll see uh, both of the red charging lights on. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to make that darker for you. You guys see that at all? Okay. Yeah, so you'll see that the charging light is on uh, for the earbuds uh, when you put them in. And then the, these lights down here uh, let you know that uh, how much charge the case has. Uh, you got your little left and right inside there. Uh, and it has that satisfying click too, guys. Got to hear that. Satisfying. Yeah, and uh, these are all budget. Uh, these are sound the best. These here, they just have the issue. If they didn't have the issue, these would be top dog. Uh, for features uh, and, and just product overall, it's going to be these. Uh, the presentation of these is amazing. It looked really good. Uh, for sound quality, best sound quality is going to be these. Uh, out of the three that I'm working with here today, these are the best sound quality. Uh, they hurt your ear like, oh man, that hurts. But uh, you'll get over it real quick, uh, especially if you want a pair of these and you want to jam out to them. Now you may look like a cartoon character wearing these, but that's okay. Brace your inner uh, prayer flint though. All right, and uh, yo, it's been a real one, man. I appreciate you guys checking me out, checking out the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell button, 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 button. And uh, you can get notified of these next videos that I'm about to drop. Until then, man, I'm going to tell you guys, peace together, not separate. Ah.